So it's that time of the year again when the hype is building up like crazy. I normally only get hype whenever Treyarch releases something, but this time it's looking like World of War 2 is going to be the setting for this year's Call of Duty. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the industry insider confirming it. We have some teasers confirming it too. Also, a new leaked image for Call of Duty World War 2. As well, there's some interesting stuff in Black Ops 3 Zombies. Probably not for a DLC 5 this time. I hope it was, but perhaps it's hinting towards the new Call of Duty. But it is very odd to why this is happening we're gonna get down to everything in a bit but I would appreciate if you guys could smash that like button as well do consider subscribing if you are new to the channel we do daily videos and live streams and now let's get right into it make sure to subscribe hey everybody what the heck is going on my name is Usman and today we're gonna kick this video off with the industry insider confirming that the next Call of Duty will be set in World War 2 and that's like 99999999% confirmed we do have a teaser already which I talked in depth about in my last video but really quickly I'm just gonna let you know you may have not seen that video so control freaks have sent out a couple of exclusive packages to youtubers that holds World War 2 team control freaks and the whole packaging has special World War 2 style feel uh, and packaging and whatnot and control freaks do work with Call of Duty and they do get information early so they can produce control freaks like we have seen them do for Ghost, Black Ops 3, Zombies in Spaceland etc and that's a powerful hint right there and a teaser and that pretty much confirms confirms 100% that Call of Duty will be set in World War 2. We talked in depth about that in our last video, but today we got the Industry Insider confirming it, and it's none other than Shinobi602. He's a very reputable guy. Every time he says something, everybody go crazy, and they're like, ah, oh, he said it, it's confirmed, and absolutely that's what's happened this time as well. He has built trust with the community for years. He leaked some info about Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, some other games, that's what I heard too, and we all know infinite warfare happened so uh, he goes on Twitter and says since I've been asked about Call of Duty dozens of time and it's already out there honestly and he got the gift that basically says yes and there's this guy asking him so the leaks are 100% real and he says I've never seen that artwork but I'm only referring to the setting so uh, we could take this in two ways like of course he's confirming that the setting is going to be World War 2 but he says that the artwork he haven't seen that before uh, even my grandma have seen it. I'm not totally sure if he, he if he's saying that he have not seen it or if he's saying that that's not real. But I, I just don't know what he's exactly trying to say. But looking at the sentence, it seems like he have not seen the artwork by the time he actually tweeted this. And I do agree uh, on that part. I personally think the cover art could be a very well done fake, but not the World War II setting. I did cover both sides of the argument in this video, covering why it could be real and why it could be a very well and fake but the setting is 99% going to be World War 2 the fact that Shinobi is saying without any hesitation and control freaks are making World War 2 special product it's basically teasing the new Call of Duty and it's basically confirmed I don't know about you guys but this time I'm really high for this next Call of Duty and on top of that loving making this videos for you guys as well and also recently in Shadows of Evil we got the new change in max ammo basically it used to be that whenever you get a max ammo you'll see a Cthulhu statue basically it would have like Shadows of Evil feel that's why it was unique in Shadows of Evil but now it's like the giant and every other zombie map in Black Ops 3. Anonymously used on Reddit confirms this by saying Treyarch changed the Max Ammo logo on Shadows of Evil sometime this past month and I'm assuming this change happened back when there was a new patch update for Black Ops 3 the title 1.21. Here you can see this is the old one you can see the Max Ammo Cthulhu sign right there whenever you would get Max Ammo it would look like this in Shadows of Evil and here is the new one similar to the giant and possibly every other DLC zombie map honestly I don't really look hard at it but I know this is from the giant and that could possibly hinting towards the next Call of Duty or maybe that's just there for the sake of being there but honestly the new update has brought a lot of stuff up some DLC 5 hints I have covered that in my previous videos and whatnot but all of this is kind of hinting towards the next Call of Duty and also there was a leaked image uh, about Call of Duty World War 2 that was like circling around over on the internet I basically found over on Twitter even Keemstar tweeted that out on Twitter and somebody quickly responded and said that the picture used in this uh, pre-order leaked image and whatnot was from War Thunder Heroes trailer and basically confirming that it, it is fake and uh, that is really about it for the video let me know what you guys think in the comments below are you guys hype are you not if you have enjoyed this video and found this quick and informative give it a like subscribe if you are new and I'll see you guys very freaking soon 
Peace out.